the modified Honda Civic. Maybe the first time you were ever introduced to this concept, you went to go see a little movie called The Fast and the Furious with your dad, and there's an opening sequence where there's three black modified Honda Civics taking down a semi-trailer truck full of Panasonic TVs that are totally worthless by today's standards. Back in the early 2000s, a modified Honda Civic was all the rage. Probably one of the most modified cars ever, the Honda Civic is cheap to buy and cheap to modify. <laughs> Every gearhead dreams about building, restoring, and modifying a car to make it their own. Taking a boring car, and with your own two hands, turning it into something you can be proud of. Too often, project cars never happen or never get finished due to the complexity and cost. Here's a couple of my favorite Honda Civics to turn into project cars. Looking for a budget-friendly Honda Civic project car? Let me introduce you to my friend, 4th Gen Civic, 88 to 91. And all U.S. models feature fuel injection, baby. Still carbureted models in some markets. Sorry. What are you going to find underneath the hood of your 4th Gen Honda Civic? Well, probably a D15 1.5 liter single overhead cam. Producing a whopping 92 horsepower. You could step it up a little bit more and target the D16 1.6 liter engine making 108 horsepower. Japanese, of course, got the coolest model, the SIR, featuring a B16A VTEC dual overhead cam. Yo, what's up? This car's cheap and reliable try and break it i dare you lots of supports and modification options nice build yourself a clean classic looking honda civic from the 80s and 90s be sure to turn a few heads low end these cars can be sought for two to three k high end six thousand dollars careful on the two to three k cars they will bite you need a honda civic project car try a fifth gen honda civic 92 to 95 fifth gen honda civic use lightweight materials to create a fuel efficient economy car the fifth gen saw an increase in dimensions over the fourth gen better aerodynamics and a beautiful styling one of my favorite honda civics if i must say base model dx had the 1.5 liter D15 making a blistering 102 horsepower. The 1.6 single overhead cam VTEC producing 123 horsepowers were found in the SI hatchback and EX coupe models in the United States, provoked popularity with the high revving performance 1.6 inline four. Thank you very much. The JDM SIR, SIR2, and SIRS carried an even more powerful B16 engine, which made 168 horsepowers. <laughs> Sixth gen Honda Civic, 96 to 2000, upgraded styling. The sixth gen Honda Civic, you might know it as the EJ, EK, or EM. Offered in three different body styles and multiple trim levels, from a 1.3 liter all the way up into a 2.0. Could either have a five-speed manual transmission or a four-speed automatic. Some models might not be available in your area. Check with your local dealer. Base models came with the 1.6 inline four EX models, came with the 1.6 D16 VTEC, yo, 100. 127 horsepowers in this version. USDM sees the SI and Canadians see the SIR. 1.6 B16A2. We got it, boys. It made it to North America. In the Civic, that is. Producing 160 horsepowers. The sixth generation Honda Civic was offered as a coupe, a hatch, or a sedan. The SI became a U.S. Pacific badge, branding trend that would continue in the Civic line for years to come. 7th Gen Honda Civic 01 to 05. Interior space saw a significant increase. Bumping it straight out of the subcompact class and putting it into the compact class. The 7th Gen abandoned the double front wishbone suspension and opted to replace it with the McPherson strut. In the year 2000, Honda Civic won the Japanese Car of the Year award for the fourth time. Most trim levels were offered as the coupe or sedan, the SI and SIR models were offered only in the hatchback model. Nice. Multiple trim levels, of course. Notable, the SIUS, SIR Canada shifted away from the B-Series engine and introduced it a little friend of mine, Honda K-Series, baby. SI models got the new K20A3, engine found in Acura RSX, rated at 160 horsepower, red line of, oh, I don't know, 6,800 RPMs? You want the Honda Civic Type R? Look for it in the JDM and Euro market. Sorry, North America boys, you're gonna have to wait. The 10th Gen Honda Civic 2016 to 2021. No. <laughs>
the Honda Motor Company adopted its global marketing model. This is the first time this model is rolled out for the Honda Civic. No more complicated. This region gets this model. Put this random engine in this trim in this region. Who has time for all that? Guess what that means? North America gets the Type R Civic for the first time. Nice. The tension Honda Civic is more sleek, sport oriented. Offered again in three body styles, the hatchback, the sedan, the coupe. We get the SI trim level as well with a 1.5 liter turbo six speed manual transmission, limited slip, active shock absorbers, a zero to 60 Honda claims in seven seconds. Oh yeah, here it is, baby. The Type R shares the same overall body as the hatch, but much more performance focused. We get an OEM body kit. Red Badge H, Honda Badges. This two liter turbo inline four produces a whopping 306 horsepower and 295 foot pounds torque with a respectable 25 miles per gallon. Wow, the Civic has come a long way. Thank you to all the cool kids that support this channel, members and Patreons. And thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for daily content. Follow me on Instagram and all things social media at Build Theory. Remember guys, own your time, free your I'll see you on the next one. Peace.